Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man No Shots Fired uh, campaign. Apparently the introduction didn't work fully. I was just getting like two sentences in and OBS decided to stop recording. So let me replay um, what I was saying. We are going into the Black Side facility, which is the first storyline mission, and we're trying to do that in order to now reduce the Avatar timer. Uh, the Doom Clock is at 22 days, just to give you an info, so it took us two days to kind of get a solid team. I really wanted to do this mission rather with a solid team and giving the top guys XP uh, if it's just a matter of one or two um, uh, days. That is fine. The ambush mission worked uh, just uh, well. We really had no problems uh, completing that and we were just passing um, all. And for today's mission, I've selected three specialists. So we have three times um, Comet Protocol and three melee characters. On top of it, we got a battle scanner. And as you can see here, we got the Skulljack loaded. So if we find a poor soul uh, that just happens to run into us, we might as well school jake them. We have no time restriction on this entire mission, which gives us plenty of time to deal with it. Towers like that, of course, are a nuisance. You don't want to fight a tower if you can help it. We might want to take the high uh, high ground. Really, does uh, does us no good by thinking about it, because we're not taking shots. See, old habits need to be unlearned if you are playing a completely new challenge. So yeah, low ground is the is the name of the game here. And I'm wondering. Breaking concealment is probably not worth it yet. As you direct. There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the skull jack. Ooh, very nice. So that could be a kill. A skull jack would spawn a codex that we would need to deal with. I don't want to do that in the first iteration. Maybe on one of the final packs. Good, Roby over here. Is potentially moving to here. And yeah, for now, we're just holding position and waiting for the packs to slowly but surely move through. Like this here is a very, very doable pack. Might as well begin to further move in. Our front line makes a very solid Agreed. stance here. Double time. Double time. The rest of the team slowly but surely follows. And just with that many combat protocols, we can Relative, uh, with relative ease, kill the tower. All right, we don't want to be spotted out. And let's continue waiting. I would like to engage only one pack if that's possible. No need to already trigger a lot of cooldowns. If they, however, just happen to stand together, then I will definitely engage because that'll give us a nice little Blade Storm Marino. Oh boy. Oh. 
The game is treating us. It is treating us. It's treating us so well. That this here is almost inacceptably good. Okay, look at that. You won't get a, a more satisfying start ever. Two packs and guess what? They are being mauled. <laughs> okay, very nice. This video requires a thumbs up, guys, just for a nice ambush kill. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Let's just for the sake of doing this, do a bit of an aid protocol here. And sonar combat protocols, the tower. Tower is almost down. Perfect. Moving up. We still have plenty of combat protocol left. Tower takes another combat protocol. And it being mechanic. Yep, results in exactly that. A nice little slug fest. All right. Moving up with Divat. One move, one slice, one kill. Okay, so I got one. And of course, it would be XCOM if we would not immediately trigger someone or something. Good. First things first, Divat here takes an 8 protocol. Are we being able to kill all three of them? Probably not. Do we need to? Probably not as well this is already a kill only problem is steve is standing in the open probably going to see a mind spin and a resurrection it's not the end of the world and maybe one shot and that's about it i want to save combat protocol because i don't feel like being forced to use it and of course, as always, one of uh, the chosen is showing up. Good. Well, I consider myself lucky because we are going to be in for a fantastic fight. Resisted the good old fear of the chosen. That's the parry. That's the mind spin I was talking about. Unsuccessful because this time we do have a mind shield. As we should have. And that's the shot into an 8 protocol. Divert. Stand down here, which I think is helpful. So we're actually going to do that. Only problem is we might trigger a turret or two. Melee vulnerability. I 
We're not triggering the Chosen yet. But rest assured, it will not take that long to trigger and to trigger her. We're using Comet Protocol to kill uh, to kill that guy. Unfortunately, I just noticed that instead of I misread the terrain, and that was due to camera lapse. So from this angle here, it actually looked like a, a hard ledge. Should have maybe looked here, because now we're standing on the stairs, and that's nah, not so good. Not the end of the world, but still, not really good either. There we go. Psionic energy and an Alarium core. Can't really move up all the way, so we're we're going to take the time to to move as close as we can, and to also move to here. Ah, that is. Not optimal. I figured that that might happen. Again, not the end of the world, but certainly not great either. Could we combat protocol uh, as tower? Yes, we can. Okay, so it's one hit. Sane would probably be the second uh, combat protocol that would hit. Okay, good. Tower is gone. So is most of our combat protocol. But that's okay. We really didn't have great tools to deal with the towers elsewise. Late Storm will take care of this guy. And now it's a matter of not being ambushed immediately, but basically having that extra round. Uh, of course, we don't. Well, well, well. Okay. Okay. Good. Sane here. I need you to really figure out where that chosen is. She often kind of comes around from here or from the rooftop. All right, that's a no starter. Let's try the other side. Uh, she's probably on the rooftop. Good. Let's sprint up, shall we? Just one damage short of actually killing this guy. To that 
that location. Well, we could not hit the robot. Okay, well, that means we're getting the parry and we're getting the teamwork. Since the bind from the Viper is not going to care about parry, I'll kill the Viper. And we're standing right next to him so that the Blade Storm will actually kill him. Making Divot a little bit less interesting target. Moving further back with Roby. And to be entirely honest, Roby could use an 8 protocol as well. Not that it matters um, for the target selection of the Chosen, but just in case, making them less likely targets. The perfect target would be to go for Hogbite. We heard glass breaking okay okay wait, wait 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 there is just so much glass that can break okay so this one here broke which means she either went upstairs or jumped right down let's double check the upstairs theory well that theory well, it's pretty solid, Saiken. We are hitting her and we're hitting her really, really well. Okay. So moving back and everybody else just she has a massive uh, reach everybody else just disengages for now we're having one more aid protocol and that definitely goes to divad like I said the idea is to let them fight one on one. Roby has. Um, Hawkbite has uh, the upper hand in that fight. Prelate does not hurt us that much, and as long as. This guy is not going to use stasis. We should be fine. Matter of fact, that guy is not going to use anything. He's, he's just dropping a stock for us. There's the parry. <laughs> okay. Very good. Oh boy, she's getting her ass handed to her. Well, if you've seen far greater power than that, and then it must have been Hogbite's mentor. Because Hogbite is already pretty much enough to uh, to overpower you. We're going to hunker down. Yeah, we can just end the turn. Harbor Wave, we're going to be immune thanks to the Mind Shield. That's the worst vanishing wind in the history of vanishing winds. It's like, 
Yeah, I'm gone. Where could I position myself? You will never guess I've positioned myself, like, right here again. All right, parrying, and with that, we can also start moving a bit closer. Full cover, full cover, full cover. And there we go. Because now, even if she moves into their direction here, Hopwide will retaliate and make short process. Yeah, not very convincing performance this time. Unless she gets melee immunity, Hogbite will best her. That's true, at least a little bit humble words from her side. Okay, moving up. Good to go. With the entirety of our little rectangle gang here. No need to ask twice. Out. Pretty sure we have um, we've cleared all of uh, the patrols by now. From a cooldown perspective, we got all of the med kits and one combat protocol left over. So we're actually doing quite well, all things considered. Good. Yeah, there is one more pack in here. Let's try something. Just double checking here. Nope, nope. No. I was hoping they might be running into us. Apparently they're not. They are not close enough yet. Yeah, none of the fields are blocked. So might as well open the door and see if we can spot them. The answer is no. That's one. Sonar is moving in with uh, two. That's three. Roger that. And we're not having an overwatch anyways. Sonar moves up. Oh, look at that. Good. So that's the perfect start, by the way. To use our combat protocol. The mech is already weakened up. And then it can be killed by simple attack. 
In terms of killing either of these guys, Hogbite is going to be more than capable of doing it. Charging in, taking the kill, and moving on. Yeah, these simple troopers really don't stand much of a chance, but there's still usually a pack further back uh, down in here, like over here or on top, that consists out of vipers. So got to be a bit careful. If we pull them, that's fine. We got a couple of defensive tools still available to us. All right, parrying, hunkering, and Sane moves to here, which should not trigger anything at all. Yeah, there's one more pack, most likely either kind of up here, behind here, or over there. If, if you say so. Moving up our remaining forces, because now we're running a bit thin on firepower. We've used all of our non-melee cooldowns already. Oh, okay. So we know that... They are right there. All right, fair enough. Moving in as Hogbite. This here creates a uh, very nice, a very nice scenario, where Hogbite is really the only one that they can see. Okay, I'll go. Hungering down. Okay. Yeah, Hogbite could also use an aid protocol. I mean, there's. In case the sector shoots and then mutant melee attacks, just increasing the chances that he's not going to be hit because he can only uh, block one of uh, the shots. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, even if we did not kill him, we're still good to go. A protocoling hog bite so that he can retaliate with his attack. And that's the end of our turn. There's the blade storm. And there's the kill. And I think that that pretty much concludes the entire black side. We've used the tools that we had to our advantage. And tried our very best to... Yeah, avoid any um, avoid any long drawn out firefights. I think Hogbite I think Hogbite is still doing a very good job. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Uh, I'm going.
Okay, so we're looking at what? Affirmative. At least two full movements in order to get out of here for Hogbite. That's fine. The rest of the team already will wait for him. Pretty much at the landing zone. Good. Hogbite takes the vial. We're doing exactly that, and since we can't evac in just one turn, we're just going to let him stay there for now. Oh no, oh no. Hmm. I can already see where this is going. If he kills the purifier, ah, ouch. They should have implemented that the purifier can't explode on a blade storm. Well, lucky us, it did not. I'm out of here. Ready to boogie. Ready to boogie. I'm going. Heading home. Good. Let's. Just kill this guy here. Could have been some extra loot. Nope. Wasn't. Okay. And that brings us kind of to the end of... The numbers increase. Uh, more of this run. I don't want to uh, spawn next to a purifier again. I'd rather take the flawless run. I rather take the flawless run. Oh boy, we got a ton of promotions here. Sukuger. Um, I like revival protocol. I also like haywire protocol. We're going with haywire protocol, and we can purchase revival for him a little bit later. Uh, the champ will be promoted last. So. Another charge of revival protocol certainly helps. Sonar. Hmm, field medic sounds great. Scanning protocol is actually also not bad um, because it is like a battle scanner. At the moment, we're not running short on slots, so might as well just improve the amount of medkits that we do have available. And now, what do we get? Ooh, ooh! Ooh, Hawkbite. You shouldn't have done that. No, seriously, that is fantastic. Thank you. And we either can get Reflect or Arc Wave. I think, given the uh, limitations that we have currently, I'll take Arc Wave. That gives us the option to deal with mutants by just like preemptively damaging them a bit as well as just AoE damage, which we're completely lacking at this point. Yeah, we're, we'll get Reflect a bit later. And boy, boy, we, well, Hogbite is just unstoppable, isn't he? Perfect. With the encryption, and that reduction, we're making a lot of progress. And, well, we do not get a, a slight break, don't we? The Warlock is just attacking. Operation Forgotten Star is upon us. And that's going to happen next. We got some intel. 
and we are currently building the radio relay so we better win that next mission else we will lose quite a bit uh those two yeah Good start to bond. I like it. I like it. Good. So far, I mean, this is now real, uh, real action going on. We are just coming out of the Blackside facility to stop the Doom Timer, and immediately a retaliation mission happens uh, because they didn't like what we were doing. Wow, I like it. It's it's going great. If you enjoy what you've uh, seen, uh, despite this being almost a speed run for the uh, Blackside facility, feel free to leave a like down below. That would really help. And let me know uh, uh, if you're satisfied with the performance of the Templar and uh, with the performance of the Rangers so far. Rangers with melee-only weapons. That is something else. All right, take care, guys. Have a good one and see you in two days. Bye-bye.